Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for being here. And I just hit 100 subscribers, so that's cool. Um, so today, as you guys can see from the title, I'm gonna be talking about my experiences at a wedding, particularly my background, um, which is Djiboutian and the ocean. So without further ado, let's just get into it. So prior to those two weddings, I had never been to a wedding ever. And at the age of, I was 22, so it was last year. I had never been to a wedding whatsoever. It's only right to start with the first wedding I've been to. And it was the Laotian wedding. So overall, the wedding, the wedding, the ceremony itself was very intriguing, very informational, very like, very beautifully done. It's cultural. 10 10 you know let's just put that aside i'll talk about that but let's just talk about the juicy shit for real so i'm from canada and let's put it to its perspective because i feel like everyone knows where toronto is but this place was uh, like a good an hour away from toronto okay cool so to my dismay when i searched it up it was a lot of hillbilly rednecks white people so I was in for a treat. I was like, wow, this is where I'm going, cool. So this person is supposedly my cousin. I had met her a few times. I had met a couple of the family members and all that stuff. I even literally spent a whole weekend with them. The bride was La Laotian and the groom was white. You get there and the venue is a train station, an abandoned train station. I'll insert it but it was i guess an event like i i don't know what they did with it but it was also a venue also that i think they wanted to be creative but i didn't really get it and i for me personally i would want a different type of venue or like just a different type of venue that was a little like different for me but if that's what they had in mind that's what they had in mind you know so we get there and we are not greeted maybe by one of my grandfathers or whatever but the rest they wasn't fucking with us to be honest and i was like okay cool cool so me and my sister were the only ones that were dressed up I'd seen someone and um they were she was wearing a hoodie with pants <laughs> and i feel like they were literally sweatpants but anyways so strike one is that i felt overdressed at a wedding You go to an African wedding, everyone is dressing up. And the bride's overdressing, obviously, but everyone's dressing up and they all look good. Well, to me, my sister felt like, wow, a tenseness to it. The people we knew, the people we slept over to, all that stuff, they did not talk to us at all. And mind you, we were the only, me and my sister were the only black people there. So I was like, okay, it's one of those nights. <laughs> I went to a predominantly white school, so I know how this goes. We know the microaggressions, we know the little remarks and shit like that. So don't don't try to act like I was put that was all only in my head. No, no, no. We felt it. So my cousin, my first cousin, had went, and they're also they're half Filipino. Um, and they live with their grandparents, they're heavily like integrated with their, their Filipino side, but they don't know a lot about their Laotian side, which is okay, you know? So we go to the wedding, we meet up with them, and then everyone's talking to them in Laotian. So my grandma literally spoke to me in Laotian, Lao, and then she was just like, like just talking because she knew things we gotta deal with, you know, type shit. And then they were all surprised, they're like, oh wow. They understand damn and then my other cousin that don't speak it they're just like you know um, they don't assume i'm lao which is okay the overall wedding was the people i mean the people were like a good four four out of ten i'm being nice i'm being nice for sure but yeah I think what was really pretty about it was the clothing. And by the way, they had forgotten to tell us to wear the cultural attire. 
Nonetheless, like obviously the colors are beautiful, even within like the Somali side. Like we wear daraks, abayas, batis, batis like at home. But like nonetheless, it's colorful. Same as that those clothing. I don't know exactly what's it called. I have to search it up. But everything is very colorful, which is amazing. So I was happy to see that the ceremony was nice. It's important to know your culture and to see what's going on in your culture. So that was a 10 out of 10 for me, for sure. It was more the environment, the people, the people that made me, made me my sister feel out, like an outcast. But nonetheless though, the food was busting. I was there for the food, I guess. And we, uh, I made sure that my night was not gonna be ruined. And I grabbed all the food I can. Please, 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 put it in the car. Please, 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 put it in the car. We made sure we had leftovers. If y'all want to choose bath, we will take all your food, all of it. And it was also open bar. Um, so essentially what they did with different tables, they had, there's um, different tables obviously, and with each table they had like chips or whatever, and with each chips that means that you could get something to drink. But we had a time. <laughs> but let's get into my first Somali wedding. So, this one, um, my cousins, they're from Ottawa, and the bride is actually from Toronto. So they did the their wedding over here, and the groom and bride looked fantastic. I'll put a picture in here. But, mashallah, beautiful, beautiful. The, she was wearing a gold sequence with like green, emerald green, and then like her makeup was nice, and like, ooh, 10 out of 10. She looked good, good, for real. Um, so my cousin Deegan, she was she was doing everyone else's makeup. She's a makeup artist. So we ran a little late. It was funny. It was a little. <laughs> she was doing everyone's makeup. And they just thought she was super woman fam. They just got her doing it, and she had to take time for her own makeup. And then we eventually we got a little bit late, which is okay because you know I need like that, especially if someone's doing all the makeup, you know. Um, my auntie had given me her um, her derrack and it was like a pink polka dotted with the see-through mesh like of black and um, that was really cute. This wedding, I had seen people I haven't seen in so long. I see my uncle, my dad's, my tonton Adero, he likes when I say tonton, but I see my tonton and I seen like a bunch of people my dad was living with back home and all that stuff so it was like oh my god I felt at peace and obviously I felt I wasn't feeling discriminated I wasn't feeling like an outcast because I do look East African and even so I feel like a lot of people are especially in the Muslim community for me at least I seen there. It was actually really fun. It's a lot of good Somali music. A lot of this and that going on. People looked good. It was fun, yeah. It was actually a very fun wedding. I think um <laughs> I think because of the people in the first one, I had very, very high expectations, low expectations for the other one. But this one felt very welcoming, very beautifully made, very nice. The food, I was able to like, you know, get some little bit, some bodies and like, you know, all that. But for the most part, it was, the food was gone. The food was gone a, a lot of quickly. The aunties were eating, eating for sure. I had a little bit, but like not too much for me to have leftovers. But you know, that food was good for real. Well, after that, um, me and my cousin Tad went to um, the, back to the hotel, and I was chilling with the, my cousins, and it was a fun time for real. Um, I had to leave early because I had things to do the next day, but I really wanted to stay for a longer time. Whereas on the, the other side, we had a long, long drive ahead of us, and I felt bad for sleeping in the car but, while my mom was driving, but. It had to be done. I was a little bit too turned. I don't know what I could could have done. It was just because it was dark and my mom had trouble with that. I'm sorry, but what could I have done when I was turned? So this year, 
I hope more of my friends would get married. Okay, none of them look like they're going to get married anytime soon. I think they're all very career oriented right now. So I don't think anyone's going to get married, but I would love to go to another wedding. So if y'all are having another wedding, invite me. Invite me. I want to go to more weddings. I want to witness love. And if it's in Morocco, fly me out and not fly me out there. I'll pay. No, if you guys could pay. And that will be very appreciated. I want to go to more places where love is just there you know so thank you for listening to me i hope this kind of clears up how i felt during this these two weddings and i hope you guys kind of got my perspective and my experience that's not to say that a laotian wedding is horrible but that was just my experience because you mix it in with different a different demographic and to add the location the demographic didn't mesh well for me but you know it'd be like that it's okay it's okay though it's okay i need to maybe i just need to go to another laotian wedding and see wagwan you know just to really encompass everything and take in the whole ceremony but yeah thank you for listening to me i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys subscribe and yeah, love y'all.